What is up guys, Kionpai here. A lot of people in my Twitch chat kept asking me on how to unlock fishing as well as good fishing locations and how to get the catch and if the catch was available already. So I wanted to make this video real quick to answer all of those questions for you guys. Before we begin, I do want to let you guys know that you do have to be Adventure Make 35 to be able to unlock fishing because you do need to have finished the quest called a teapot to call home to unlock the Serenity teapot first. So to first start unlocking fishing, you're going to have to go to Monsat and talk to the Adventures Guild or Catherine inside of Monsat to begin the fishing quest. It's going to be called Exploding Population. Then you're going to proceed to exit Monsat and go over to the outside gates near this lake over here and talk to this fisherman right here. The next part of the quest is going to involve you to teleport into Springville and come over to this side of the lake and meet up with Nantuck again and just talk to him. After you finish your talk with Nantuck, it'll give you a bunch of items such as fish bait recipes and it'll ask you to fish. So you'll go over to the fishing area and then press F to activate fishing, start fishing, and then you'll hold down the left mouse button to put out your rod. And then you're going to move your mouse or your controller sticks until you have the rod land near a fish. And then once they bite, you'll enter a scene where you'll be left click to go and grab it and then you'll have to hold down the left mouse button and keep it inside this little bar. If you've ever played Stardew Valley, it's very similar to that until the hook is fully finished. Once it's done, you'll have obtained the fish. The next part of the quest will have you go and collect an ornamental fish and you will go and see here that if I am far away that there's a bigger light beam to help indicate that there's an ornamental fish in the area and you're just going to go up to the area and start fishing. After you get your ornamental fish, you're going to come back over to Mondstadt by this lakeside again and talk to Nantuck once more time. After you finish talking to Nantuck, that will be the finish of the fishing quest. And now we're going to teach you how to collect the proper fish so that you can get the catch polearm as well as the refinements for the catch. And the first step to that will be to craft other baits. The recipes for other baits is going to be in your precious item storage in your inventory. As you guys hear, this one is the fruit paste bait and you're going to use it. And this will unlock the ability to craft that bait at the crafting bench. If you are strictly only doing the fishing to get the catch and its refinements, you don't need to craft any more fruit paste bait because you only need six of them and you will have some left over from the fishing quest as well as when they gave it to you. You'll have to come back up to Stormbear Mountains and go to this fishing spot whereas it will have these Madaka and you'll need to catch six Madaka. If you guys do need more Madaka because your Stormbearer Mountain Point runs out of fish, you guys can go to all these other locations here on this website. I will be linking this forum post. Uh, shout outs to Nabel for making this little guide of fishing for everyone on the Holy Lab forums. The North Storm Terror fishing location will be right up here near this little platform right here. And if, if you look over the cliff, you'll see all the fish down here. The Southern Storm Terror fishing location will be right here on this island located right here. And when you go into the world and you go and see that the fish are right over this cliff, right on the north side of this lake. Another fishing location is the fishing location that you did for the fishing quest over here above Springville. It will still have the Madaka as well. Another spot to pick up a Madaka will be underneath Windrise. You can teleport to the shrine and come over to this location here where you can see the water puddle right there. One more spot for fishing inside Mondstadt will be this area right here above this waypoint and then you come to this cliff and right over the cliff there will be a fishing spot right here. If you still don't have all six Madaka that are required for buying the other bait recipes you can always go to Liyue. There are some other locations such as this location here, here, and here as well as look at the rest of the fishing guide for all the other fishing spots. So you're going to use your newly required bait recipes and after you craft or after you use these bait recipes you're going to end up crafting a bunch of these baits. In total, you're going to need to have 120 fake fly bait because these will attract the golden koi, the rusty koi, the puffer fish, and the bitter puffer fish that you'll need of 120 fish in total. And you're going to need 18 false form bait because these catch the rime fish and you need 18 of them in total. If you want to get the catch as well as the four refinement materials. However, keep in mind that you also do have some of these baits already left over from after finishing the fishing quest, such as the 10 false worm baits and the 10 fake fly baits. So I want to give you another reminder to make sure that you don't overcraft your bait because these do still come all in a set of 10 and also make sure you don't craft the wrong bait because you do need to craft 120 or have a total of 120 fake fly bait and you will start off with about, I believe 10 as well as you are going to need only 20 false worm bait in total. So in Inazuma over here by the waters, you'll have this NPC right here where you can go and talk to her and go buy some fishing supplies. You can see here, she'll have the catch here and you'll have to catch six Raime angelfish, 20 golden koi, as well as 20 rusty koi. To get the refinements, it's going to be the Akosake vessel and you'll need three more Raime angelfish, 
10 pufferfish as well as 10 bitter pufferfish for each refinement. And you're going to need to get 4 of these, so you're going to need 12 of these, 40 of these, and 40 of these. For those that are worried about how long you have to be able to obtain the catch in its refinements, this NPC is not an event NPC. As you can see here, there is no fishing event going on, so you have as long as you need to be able to catch all the fish required to obtain the catch as well as all of its refinements. So to collect those Raimei angelfish that you need for the base catch as well as for, as well as for the refinements, you're going to need to come to the shipwreck area over here in Inazuma. I recommend that you teleport over here as and take the Wave Rider ship boat and sail it down over over to the shipwreck and at 9 p.m you will be able to see these angelfish right over here if you stand on this platform you can start fishing i just really wanted to quickly show you guys what the golden koi and the rusty koi look like and this fishing location right here is in liue left of the wangshu inn on this beach over here on this dock another location for the koi fish is going to be on this broken bridge in liue it's going to have both the koi fish and the last spot that both the koi fish are going to be spawning in is in sari island over next to koseki village right over on this spot on this rock here where you'll see this puddle of water now back up here at storm bear mountains there will be a fishing spot that will allow you to get golden koi but there will be no rusty koi in this spot because there are a lot of different locations for pufferfish and bitter pufferfish i do just want to show you guys really quickly an example of what they look like you can see here these are the pufferfish and these are the bitter pufferfish so once again, we're going to be referencing the fish location guide by Nabel for all the pufferfish and bitter pufferfish. You can see here at Watatsumi Island, the new Inazuma Island on the left side of the map. You can see over here that there's pufferfish and bitter pufferfish here. And at this location here, there's pufferfish down here. If you go over to the Liyue areas, there's going to be bitter pufferfish up in this area above the village as well as on the right side near the monstat liwe area there are are going to be pufferfish and bitter pufferfish in this monstat image here you can see the only place to get pufferfish and bitter pufferfish in monstat is going to be in the springvale location that we were just showcased down near liwe harbor there is a fishing spot where you can pick up some pufferfish as well and in inazuma near the beach you can see the bitter pufferfish here as well as some more bitter pufferfish on the right side as well too in inazuma on the near the main original island there is a bitter pufferfish spawn right here now when it comes to how long it takes for these fish to respawn i'm not exactly quite too sure because i've heard people say two days or three days but most people say it takes three days for these to respawn but at the same time i have been fishing in the past before where i will end up having a fish go down underwater and other fish will come out such as one fish go down and three fish come back up i'll show a clip of it right here real quick all right i'm going go now have a great stream maybe make an abyss help series uh i think it should be just just like gonna i'll take it wait how does that work do they just randomly spawn also, as a friendly reminder, if you guys don't want to wait for your own fish to respawn, you can always join other people's worlds to pick up their fish. Even if they haven't done the fishing quest, such as this person right here named Tomex, uh, you can still get the fish in their world. Just bear in mind that only one person can collect the fish. All right, that's going to be all for this video. Hopefully this video helped you unlocking fishing as well as getting the catch and its refinements. Make sure you guys leave a like and comment down below what you guys think about fishing in Genshin Impact. Make sure you guys subscribe for more Genshin Impact content. Follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Pie to get guides, account reviews, abyss help live, as well as make sure you guys join our Discord server to be part of our Genshin Impact community, as well as we do have some giveaways going on for some Welcome Moon Passes on Discord. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter for Primo Gem Codes, giveaways, Genshin Impact updates, and everything you're going to want to know about Genshin Impact. We also have giveaways going on live currently on Twitter, as well as on Twitch right now. So make sure you guys check those out. And thank you guys for watching the video again, and I'll catch you next time. Peace!